Hello everyone, we will continue the topic cross applications and under that we are covering how to send materials from one SAP client to another SAP client. And in the last video, we created a material through MM01 transaction code. We send the material through BD10 transaction code in the 100 client outbound IDOC generated in 200 client corresponding inbound IDOC generated. Now we will go for first most important point. Now, if I will go to WE20 transaction code in 100 client, if I will go to WE20 transaction code, you all know for the partner type logical system, we created the outbound and we choose the option pass IDOC immediately. That's why whenever a outbound IDOC generated, the corresponding inbound IDOC generated immediately and the material passed to the client 200. Extremely important point because many people in case of whenever you will go for WE20, this radio button is ticked, collect IDOC and many people will think why, why the corresponding inbound IDOC has not generated? Because if you have chosen this option, pass IDOC immediately, then what will happen? Whenever a outbound IDOC will generate in 100, the corresponding inbound IDOC will off immediately generate in client 200 and material will pass with the help of that particular IDOC. Next video, I will show you through collect IDOC also. In that case, inbound IDOC only, outbound IDOC will only generate in client 100 and the corresponding inbound IDOC will generate once I will do the processing in the client 100. Now we will go for full understanding we will full analyze these two IDOCs. Now, firstly, I will go to client 100. This is our client 100. This is our client 100. And this is the IDOC generated 10418. You all know every IDOC has three parts. Control record, data record, and status record. If I will go for control record, you can see in the 100 client, yes, this is outbound IDOC. The value is 1. Value is 1. Now, you can see this is the message type and IDOC type we have chosen. So, this is all about the control information. Now, you can see partner information also. You can see what is the sender. Sender is A4HCL NT100. This is the sender. And this is the receiver A4HCL NT200. And you know, we created which port number A, which is ending with 16. So all technical information, all control information is there. Now, if I will go to our data record, you can see this is our data record. If I will click here, whatever we have given while creating the material, everything is appearing here. This is our material which is created. This is my username. If you remember, we choose pharmaceuticals. So what is one digit code for the med industry sector? If I will go to MM01, you can see we choose pharmaceuticals at that point of time. So what is one digit for pharmaceuticals? P. We have chosen material type additionals. So what is the four digit code for the additionals? VKHM. Now, if I will go for our status record, 
now you can see how how the status is processing firstly if i will show you firstly idoc created then idoc is ready for dispatch now you can see the status is 3 as of now and it is clearly saying idoc sent to sap system or external program it means yes this is what we want yes this idoc sent to the external system in our case it is sap system and that is client 200 and you can see the last status is 03 now if i will show you or i will analyze the idoc in client 200 this is our client 200 if i will double click on to this idoc now you can see here it is inbound here it is inbound and the status is 53 as of now if i will show you the control information control record this is our message type and idoc type or basic type and you can see the partner information this is our sender and this is our receiver now i will simply simply go for our data record and you can see if i will go to data record we have same material you can see we have the industry sector we have the material type each and everything is appearing if i will show you the description also you all know we provided the description also if i will go for makt this is the description which we provided yes so now i will simply simply go for status record now if i will go for status record you can see idoc added after that idoc ready to pass to the application and you can see after that idoc passed and finally the application document posted and the status is 53 53 means yes application document posted successfully and because of that only we are able to see the material in client 200 now the most most important part in the future if you want to track what is the corresponding inbound idoc for this corresponding outbound idoc and this is what we always want yes what is the corresponding inbound IDOC generated for this particular outbound IDOC of client 100? Suppose if I will go for client 100, this is our client 100. So in the client 100, here I will go, sorry. This is our client 100. In the client 100, IDOC number is 10418 and in the 200 client, the corresponding IDOC is 3819. Firstly, I showed you through WE02 or WE05. I refreshed and showed you. But if we have so many IDOCs, how you can track that this particular inbound IDOC is generated for this particular outbound IDOC of client 100. Then do one thing. In the receiver client, go for BD87 transaction code. You all know we already covered BD87 transaction code full detail in the cross applications previous videos. Whenever you want to reprocess the IDOCs, at that time, we used this particular transaction code. Now, to trace the IDOCs also, to track the IDOCs also, we will use this particular transaction code. Now, in 200 client, what is the IDOC number? 3819. 3819. I will go to execute. Now, if I will simply, simply click and go on to trace idocs if i will go for trace idocs and it will simply giving them information trace idocs in partner system if i will click now you can see 
वट इज द पार्टनर आईडॉक नंबर वन जीरो फोर वन एट जस्ट सी इन 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 अवर हंड्रेड क्लाइंट इज दिस द इंफॉर्मेशन वन जीरो फोर वन एट इफ आई विल गो टू हंड्रेड क्लाइंट इस वन जीरो फोर वन एट सो यू कैन इजिली सी फॉर कॉरस्पॉन्डिंग इज अ आउट बाउंड आईडॉक बट फॉर द कॉरस्पॉन्डिंग वन जीरो फोर वन एट विच इज अवर आउट बाउंड आईडॉक इफ आई विल शो यू This is our inbound IDOC number in client two hundred. This is our outbound IDOC in client hundred. Now, if I want to trace these two things, simply, simply, I went to this BD eighty seven transaction code in client two hundred, which is our receiver client. i put the idoc number which is generated when i put the idoc number and clicked on to trace idoc it is simply simply giving me the number of the partner idoc means in the partner idoc it is coming from which particular system that is 10418 and extremely extremely useful in the projects because many times if error triggered or many times if you want to backtrack you should always always check the corresponding number of other system with the help of this trace idox feature now what is the summary of this particular video in this video firstly i showed you that when a outbound idoc generated in client 100 the corresponding inbound idoc immediately generated why why it is immediately generated because we have chosen the radio button send idocs immediately in the next video i will go for collect idoc and show you the different type of processing after that i we completely analyze the outbound idoc in client 100 we saw the control information data information we saw the status information also and in client 100 if you remember we saw the status yes data sent to external as external program or sap then we analyze the corresponding idoc in the client 200 we check the control information data information and status information and when we check the last status that document is successfully posted that's why we are able to see the material in client 200 now next most important part we covered if you want to trace what is the corresponding inbound idoc for this particular what is the corresponding outbound idoc number for this inbound idoc of client 200 then you can simply simply go to bd87 transaction code you can put the idoc number in the receiver client we are doing this because in the receiver client we want to check yes what is the sender idoc number what is the outbound idoc number then you can simply simply click on to trace idoc it will show you the corresponding yes idoc number in the next video we will go for collect idoc i will change the radio button to collect idoc and then we will see how the processing will be so that's it in this video thank you